Hello friends, let's see the multiple choice questions on heat transfer operations. Here, in each question, you have given 10 seconds to solve. If you know the answer, you can comment in the comment box. Let's see questions. So first question is, Fourier's law applies to the heat transfer by Options are Option A Convection Option B Radiation Option C Conduction Option D All of these Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Stop So answer is Option C Conduction now next question is Thermal conductivity of a material is defined as the Options are Option A Resistance to heat transfer for a quantity of material 1 meter thick with heat flow area 1 meter square time unit 1 hour and temperature difference 1 Kelvin Option B Conduction for a quantity of material 1 meter thick with heat flow area 1 meter square time unit 1 second and temperature difference 1 Kelvin. Option C Resistance to heat transfer for a quantity of material 1 meter thick with heat flow area 100 meter square time unit 1 second and temperature difference 100 Kelvin. Option D None of these. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, option D none of these. Now next question is, what is the unit of thermal conductivity? Options are, Option A kilocalorie per hour meter square degree Celsius. Option B kilocalorie per hour meter degree Celsius. Option C kilocalorie per hour meter. Option D kilocalorie per hour degree Celsius. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 1 stop so answer is option 8 kilocalorie per hour meter square degree celsius now next question is in si units the thermal conductivity is expressed in options are option a watt per meter degree kelvin option b watt per meter cube degree kelvin Option C, watt per meter square, degree Kelvin. Option D, watt per meter raised to power 4, degree Kelvin. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, option A, watt per meter, degree Kelvin. Now next question is The thermal conductivity of gas at low density Dash With increase in temperature Options are Option A decreases Option B increases Option C remained unchanged Option D may increase or decrease Depend on the gas Your time start now 10 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option B increases. Now next question is, the thermal conductivity of most of the liquid, dash, with increase in temperature. Options are, option A increases. Option B decreases. Option C remained unchanged. Option D may increase or decrease, depend on the gas. 
your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option b decreases now next question is the heat transfer coefficient h1 for liquid increases with options are option a increasing temperature option b decreasing temperature option c decreasing reynold number option d none of these your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option c decreasing reynold number now next question is the unit of heat transfer coefficient in si units is options are option a joule per meter square degree kelvin option b watt per meter square degree kelvin option c watt per meter degree kelvin option d joule per meter degree kelvin your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option a joule per meter square degree kelvin now next question is heat flux is the time rate of heat transfer per unit options are option a length option b area option c volume option d none of these your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option b area now next question is with an increase in the thickness of insulation around circular pipe heat loss to surrounding due to options are option a convection increases while that due to conduction decreases option b convection decreases while that due to conduction increases option c convection and conduction decreases option d convection and conduction increases your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option a convection increases while that due to conduction decreases now next question is Heat transfer by dash may not necessarily require the presence of a medium. Options are Option A Conduction Option B Natural Convection Option C Forced Convection Option D Radiation Your time start now. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop so answer is option d radiation now next question is mode of heat transfer in which the fluid moves under the influence of change in fluid pressure produced by external work is called options are option a radiation option b natural convection Option C forced convection. Option D conduction. Your time start now. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stop. So answer is option C forced convection. If you like my video Please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.